Sorry, that was my mom. I lost my train of thought. I had to say something. I'm gonna go somewhere else and come back. <laughs> but like I'm not here to criticize because the truth of the matter is I can tell you the flaws I did with my kids. But what I can tell you in them is I never glorify them. I never was like, oh, it's okay that my son over here acting a fool and, and doing this and doing that. But then when they called him, be like, oh, my God, I can't believe. And I'm going to stand behind him. I was standing behind him as soon as I noticed it was a problem. So, I don't know. I'm going to tell you just, I'm, I mean, I'm not here to criticize you. I'm just here to give my opinion on what I've got out of watching you. You know? That's really what I'm on. So, I'm not saying then just recently it's just not worth it. One minute you've got a patent, which is a blessing. Run on that. But then you go from talking about your patent two days in a row to now you're on this little show with dude, Xavier, who ain't worth a bit of beans. You're messing with dudes and now messing with transsexuals. Like when I say shit is all over the place, it's all over the place. And then you mad when people using your information. They ain't even go to no gossip store. I know people with mothers with addictions just made them do some dirty, 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 dirty things. To their children, to their life, to their self. And they don't speak of their mother the way you do. I'm lost. I'm lost. It's hard for me to respect that. Because while you crapping on your mama, I'm watching you do things that's going to have your daughter talking about you in 20 years on a different platform. I'm watching you ignore your daughter for me. You ignore yourself for me. I'm watching. So if your mama was bad for doing that, then you worse for repeating it. So I don't know. Just my opinion. But so you go to Olive Garden, and man, old girl speaking knowledge. Okay. But, <clears throat> your daughter goes up a gang sign at the end of her video. A heart. Is this. She's paying you with it's a heart. What heart is this? <laughs> That's me judging. That's me seeing. Me having an opinion on what I saw. Where you come from me? Or would you could never send for me? You know what I'm saying? We can all talk behind something just like I'm doing right now. But if I saw you face to face, if you took it down the list and I say the same thing. Because you put it out there for me to say something. I don't give nothing about no fake cease and desist or people not understanding what they're getting themselves into and then doing all that. I don't do that. I don't cloud chase because I got cloud. This is not a diss to put you down. It's just saying, man. You know how they say you don't get a second chance to make a first impression? Like, if these are your impressions, don't be mad that this is what I see you for. I mean, for real. That's on you. That truly is on you, excuse me. I don't know. But, like I said, 
to just going off what I'm seeing myself. Like, even with your job. I ain't got dogs. I've had them for years. I've been a dog owner for 15 years. Dog of some form. And none of us are perfect. None of us. None of us. And some of us don't realize how big the job is until we get it. But, you made it easy for people to report you. I mean, you outside, oh, wait, I'm gonna finish this though. You outside coming in from somebody else's crib, which means you spent the night. You come in, don't take your dog out. You grab something, you go to the store. They told you he needs to be on the leash and he needs to be fixed. And I know that because you told us he, they told you that. And you still never did that. But then you were mad at people's reactions to you not doing what you're supposed to do. That sounds like somebody grew up spoiled more so than somebody who grew up abused. I'm not saying you weren't. But, I mean, I just think about the things you do. You know, like when you checked a girl in the, <laughs> in the store to tell her that she ain't got the right to tell nobody not to buy you no wine. Um, how you somebody over there and you better be careful. Where are all them people at when your bullying going on? And even when you got that tattoo, that, that raw ass tattoo on your leg, you bullied that girl. You good for putting people on camera when you're not supposed to. You're not supposed to be filming me because you want to make some content on me. So if I tell you don't put that camera on me, I have a fucking right to. Period. I mean, a right to tell you that. Then you laugh. You're drinking and driving. you pissing outside your car. And then you go back to bully us more. And they trying to tell you like she ain't even on that with you, yo. But you still going and going and going and going. Team too much. You know what I'm saying? So, would you brought her and you was, oh, this white bitch and these white people and all this. It's what you say your daughter got. If you believe in energy, you know, if you bring it out, you can get it back. Worse. Or better. But, I know that these just things I'm getting off your channel. You know what I'm saying? I'm not going to jump in no beefs you got with nobody else. I'm just going to tell you what I see. Uh, <laughs> I'm a nobody on YouTube, but even with your hundred and fifty thousand dollar fifty thousand followers on your so called other page, you know what I'm saying? The only one I follow. You're nobody on YouTube. It's more than a hundred and fifty thousand subscribers to YouTube. So what does that mean to me? What does that mean to me? That's what's wrong. That's what's wrong. The same people that help people build is the same people people knock like they don't need them. Get out of here. Don't move me. There's nobody tired of watching y'all so-called somebody do nothing. Nothing. Mm. I'm trying to think. Because no matter what you say back, even with a response, you're going to get another video out of me. Cause I didn't make this for back and forth for content. I made this just to say that I want to break down every fucking subscriber. I mean, everyone I'm subscribed to, I should say. And period. And that's, that's point blank to the period, you know. Sometimes what I'm saying gonna be nothing. But it's still my opinion. I mean, there's some people that may say, you never did this stuff. I don't know. I don't know. But like I said, I watch you. I watch you threaten your mama. You're trying to beat her ass. 
Um, man, I watch you. You know, I even watch. I was watching when your son. I even watched the videos when you and your son did it together. And even with him, when he was saying he could be real, I could tell those parts he was holding back. But one of the things is you move around, sweetie. They need stability. They need stability. Whatever it is you so-called got from your dad, whatever it is you so-called need, they need it. So, like I said, I'm not sitting here like, oh, I was a perfect parent. I never, ever would have paraded my shit on social media. Then been mad that people had opinions. That don't make no sense to me. You left me nothing but that opinion. But inside that opinion, I pray for you. I pray for your daughter. I pray for your sons. Say I pray for your mom and your sister. Yeah. But, you know what I'm saying? It's good things about you. I see it. That's why I'm still subscribed to anything. And <laughs> I want nothing but the best for you. Well, You one of the content creators I'm um, subscribed to. So, on my page, they gonna get a breakdown with food. <laughs> and this your breakdown. I mean, it's no thing. I mean, don't put yourself out there, you don't know. I'm entitled to it. But I know if you're moving, I was right. But anyway, that's how I feel. That's what it is. I was eating boiled eggs, snow crab, corn on the cob, and chicken sausage with basil. So, um, and real lobster biscuits. <laughs> But, I'm not saying what I say, it talks to me, nothing against you. I don't know you. You know. But, everybody have a good day. And, remember, what you put out is what people say. They can't read your mind, and they don't know your backstory. So, just remember that. And if you have a voice, choose to use it wisely. Choose to help, to give understanding, and to maybe save somebody. Or maybe save yourself. Do something with it. All right, love you. Peace. Stay strong. Be back.